So, welcome. And in this lesson, we are going to look at uh, mixed operations on fractions. I want to pick on a question that was uh, tested in KCP 2010. That is uh, 3 into the square of 4 plus the square of 2 minus 5 multiplied by 6 divided by 2 everything over 3 multiplied by 5. Now, how do we work out that question? Because this question involves many operations, you work with this rule of board mass. So how do we go about that? Let's see. So that means that in this case, you start working the numerator first, then you come to the denominator. So let's start with the numerator, applying the board mass rule. So the numerator becomes 3 into the square of 4 plus the square of 2 minus 5 multiplied by 6 divided by 2. So, of course, we begin by what is within the bracket, because bracket comes first. That is the square of 4 plus the square of 2. So, square of 4 is 16, plus the square of 2 is 4. And then, we have that bracket, then we have 3, then minus 5, multiplied by 6, divided by 2. So, to finish up with the bracket, 16 plus 4 is 20, multiplied by 3 minus 5 by 6 divided by 2. So 20 by 3, remember bracket means multiplication sign. So 20 by 3 is 60 minus 5 multiplied by 6 divided by 2. You come to division because that is what we have next. Division. So 6 divided by 2, you get 3. That will reduce our sum to 60 minus 5 multiplied by 3. And then you come to multiplication next. Multiply that. So that gives you 60 minus 5 by 3 is 15. And that will give you 45. So that is for the numerator. We will come to the denominator, which is 3 times 5. So for the denominator, I will only have 3 times 5, which is giving me 15. So when I put them together, numerator over denominator, I will get, remember the numerator is 45. So I will have 45 over 15, and that gives me an answer of 3. So, you should get 3 as your final answer. That means that when you work out this, the final answer that you get should be 3. So, this was set in the KCPE of 2010. That was question 5. I want to look at my question number 2. This was now set in the KCPE of 2009. And that was question 47. We have 2 and 1 over 4 divide by 2 and 7 over 9 square root then multiplied by the square of 2 over 3. So in this case, so in this case, the first thing you do, convert everything to a proper fraction. So that will give me 2 over 4 is 9 over 4. That is 2 by 4 plus 1. 2 by 4 plus 1, that gives me 9 over 4, divided by 
9 by 2, 18 plus 7, 25 over 9. And everything there, the square root. And then I multiply by 2 over 3. And that. After doing that, split the square root for each of the numbers in this case. That will give you the root of 9 over 4. Remember, the root is for everything there. Divide by the root of 25 over 9. Multiplied by the square of 2 over 3. So in this case, find the square of the numerator and the square of the denominator. That will give me the square of 9 over the square of 4. Divide by this this way. Multiplied by 2 over 3 and then the square of that. So the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 4 is 2. Divide by the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 9 is 3 multiplied by the square of 2 is 4 and the square of 3 is 9. So because this is division, we multiply by the reciprocal of this number here. So that gives you 3 over 2 multiplied by 3 over 5 multiplied by 4 over 9. You are then allowed to simplify. You are allowed to simplify. That will mean that 3 goes here 3 and 3 goes with that and 2 goes there twice. So that gives you a final answer of 2 over 5. So again in that case, that is what you get when you work out that. That becomes your final answer. I will now look at the KCPE 2008 and that was uh, question 44. So the question is 2 and 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 into 1 and 3 over 8 minus 7 over 8 everything over 3 and 1 over 8 multiplied by 3 over 4 divided by 3 over 8. Right. So when you have a question like that, the same way we did the first question, you have the numerator and you have the denominator. So we work with them separately. So I will begin with the numerator. So convert everything to improper fraction. That is, working out with the first one, the numerator is 2 and 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 into 1, 3 over 8 minus 7 over 8. Right. So the first thing, Converting everything to improper fraction, 2 by 8 by 2, 16 plus 1, 17. So that gives me 17 over 8. You do the same for everything that you have there. So that is plus 1 over 4 into, within the bracket, 8 plus 3, 11 over 8. And then we have minus 7 over 8. That is done. You're then allowed to work what is within the bracket. Remember, the rule of board mass still applies. What is within the bracket? Which is 11 over 8 minus 7 over 8. To subtract two numbers or to add two numbers whose denominators are the same, just use one denominator and then subtract the numerators, 11 minus 7, you will get 4. So that gives you 4 over 8. But of course, you know, this can, can be simplified because 4 goes there once and 4 goes there twice. 
So you will have half. So this half is just the answer of what is here. Now this should be multiplied by, remember there is a bracket here. So we have half multiplied by quarter and then we have this. So everything becomes half and then multiplied by quarter and then plus 17 over 8. You don't forget that. So you come and multiply this. So this gives me 1 by 1 is 1 and 4 by 2 is 8. So this gives me, when I work out that, I get, uh, when I work out that, I get 1 by 1, 1, 4 by 2, 8. So that gives me 17 over 8 plus 1 over 8. And again, the denominator is the same. So I will just use one denominator, but add the numerator, which is 17 plus 1, 18 over 8. That becomes your answer for now, but you can simplify. Remember, 2 goes into 8 4 times, and 2 goes into 18 9 times. This will be your numerator. Let's work out the denominator here. So the denominator is 3 and 1 over 8, of course the denominator, 3 and 1 over 8 multiplied by 3 over 4, divided by 3 over 8. Let me check if I wrote it well. Right. So in this case, I will really not follow board mass because we have multiplication and division. And division is still a form of multiplication by the reciprocal. So converting the whole thing I will have, this will give me 24 plus 1, 25 over 8, multiplied by 3 over 4, and then multiplied by 8 over 3. So because all this is the same sign, I don't need to follow the rule of board mass. So I will not use it here. So once I have what I have here, let me do the simplification. So that I have 8 goes with 8, 3 goes with 3, and then I have an answer of 25 over 4 as the denominator. So putting them together, remember, my numerator was 9 over 4. So I will have 9 over 4 as the numerator divided by 25 over 4. Remember we had 9 over 4 over 25 over 4. But this means division sign. So it is 9 over 4 divided by 25 over 4. So that is going to give me here 9 over 4 division multiply by the reciprocal of the next, which is 4 over 25. So that 4 goes with 4, and you get your final answer as 9 over what? 25. This becomes the answer that is expected for that. So as I said, this was the KCPE of 2008, question 44. You can check on that. So the next question that I look at is KCPE of 2007, that was question 4. So the question is 3 and 2 over 5 minus 2 and 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 and 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 of 1 and 5 over 7. So we have that. In this case, you realize that we must use board mass because we have subtraction, we have multiplication, addition, and another multiplication here. So we must apply board mass. 
And the first thing that you do when you have such operations, convert everything to improper fraction. So we start here. 5, that is 15. 5 by 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So you will have 17 over 5 minus 2 by 4 by 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 over 4 multiplied by 3 plus that is 4 over 3 plus 1 over 6 of 7 plus 5 is 12 over 7. Once you're there, we begin by applying board mass. So we have off coming first. Remember, we don't have bracket in our question. So we start with off, which is here. But off means multiplication. So that means I will have 1 over 6 multiplied by 12 over 7 here. So 6 goes there twice. That leaves me with an answer of 2 over, over 7. So I'm done with that part up to there. So my question has been reduced to 17 over 5 minus 9 over 4 multiplied by 4 over 3 plus 2 over 7. Next is multiplication here. So I will have to multiply that. That is 9 over 4 multiplied by 4 over 3. 4 goes with 4 and 3 goes there 3 times. So I remain with an answer which is 3. Finally your equation becomes 17 over 5 minus 3 of cos over 1 because I'm dealing with fractions and then plus 2 over 7. Let's deal with that on a new page. So I have 17 over 5 minus 3 over 1 plus 2 over 7. Now in this case, you must know that the sign for any given number is in front of that number. So plus is for 2 over 7 and minus is for 3 over 1. So according to the rule of board mass, Addition comes before subtraction. So we first add this to the first one before we subtract. So let us do addition. That is 17 over 5 plus 2 over 7. That will give me the LCM of 7 and 5 is 35. 5 goes there, 7, 7 by 17, 119, plus 7 goes there, 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, so that gives me an answer of 129 over 35, right? So I have already added that to that. What remains now is to do the final one, which is subtraction. So to this final answer, you subtract 3 over 1. So again, the LCM is just 35. 35 ones by that is 129 minus 1 goes there, 35 times. 35 times 3 is 105. So 129 minus 105, you get 24 out of 35. This cannot be simplified further, and so this becomes your answer for that question. So the first one was from KCP 2010, question 5. The next question was uh, from KCP 2009, question 47. The next one is from KCP 2008, question 44. And the final one that we've just done in this category is from the KCP of 2007, question 4. So as you can see, this is a topic that is set every year. 
but it is very simple to deal with. I hope you find that easy now.